Welcome to Gravity Throttle Racing. Welcome to Episode 7, and my name is Aaron Tate. This is Richard Gear, race fans. Take a look now at this scoreboard after six episodes, and you'll see the top eight are only separated by 32 points. They are at the top of the mountain, G-Force is on the inside with Chase next to him, Monster, and Iron Beard Customs on the outside. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gearing up to go. Off they go over the jump, over the creek jump, and they're looking great, but it's Monster with the lead, a clear lead. Nice drifting there, a little cartwheel, but doesn't lose any time, and the backup driver, the driver behind is looking good too. Here come the others as the rear driver of Monster slides out. Now the G-Force driver slides out. There's a little bit more scrum going on back around the big view, and Monster's gonna take first place. Here comes G-Force in for second, Chase in for third, and the rear driver for Monster takes fourth. All the way up at the top there, we see another driver limping their way down. It's gonna count though, and it's, oh, it's G-Force coming in for fifth. Now, this is the fourth time these groups have changed. Let's go back to the instant replay package. There is some crazy drifting, but it's Ironbeard Customs that gets stuck in Mesa Butte. Take a look now as Monster is looking very good coming around. The others are coming through on the Joker lane, but watch the rear driver slide out, spin around, and wind up behind Chase. This is wonderful as the train view captures the cars near the back. There's, there's Monster going in reverse and the other drivers passing him. There's the lead driver. And now watch, you're gonna see this again as they come around. The rear driver of Chase actually forces the lead driver off the road right there. Monster leads with 13 and G-Force has 11. Chase with six. And the four drivers are back at it again at the top here with Iron Beard Customs on the inside. G-Force. Then in the catbird seat is Chase, Family Racing, and Monster Motorsports on the outside. There goes the green light. Oh, a great start. Chase. And now it's Ironbeard coming in on the inside, taking the lead. First down on the Joker Lane. Good drifting, at least by the front driver of Chase Family Racing. And he is looking strong coming around. Here comes Ironbeard Customs. Oh, it's gonna be very tight. What a blocking maneuver. And now Ironbeard Customs has the lead. They're slowing up a little bit around the big U. On to the scrambler they go. The lead driver looks good. Look at Chase, cut in. He may have taken second place. Chase now coming through again. There's G-Force and the last driver through will be Monster. Mm -hmm. Now, as we remember, Ironbeard Customs failed to score. So down the Joker lane, he was first. There's the trouble that the rear driver of Chase had. Monster spins out. The other driver is stuck and now has to help out. The rear driver has to help out the lead one. Watch again here. And then check out the lead that Ironbeard Customs has over G-Force. And Ironbeard Customs is out for revenge. Wow, way to stick it to Chase. What a coordinated effort to get ahead. And here once again, the train captures a tremendous view as we watch the drivers behind. There goes G-Force just ahead of Chase. Here comes Monster. And there you see the leaders as they make their way down. A wonderful pass coming through. Watch this as Chase manages to pass around the big U, passes G-Force. After the two rounds of racing, there is just a four-point difference that each of the four teams will be adding. Yes, indeed. Chase takes second place. Seven and five more points for him. Monster collects only three more. Now, here are the updated scores with Ironbeard Customs having 122. Wow, that was tight. All right, and for halftime, we are going to get back into the Clone Wars Best in Show Contest. You mean we're going to find out who wins? Not only are we going to find out who wins amongst the adults, we're going to find out how the kids voted as well. How many kids were there? 19. And of those 19, almost all of the contestants got a vote. But in second place, the runners up with three votes for Monster Motorsports and Chase Family Racing. Well, I could certainly see the young girls voting for those Powerpuff cars. <laughs> well, you're going to find this really interesting. Six of the 19 kids voted for Arlo, and I think it's because he's got that rainbow-colored car with a rainbow-colored windshield. Oh, the perfect unicorn diecast. <laughs> I never thought of it that way, but that's pretty good, Aaron. Yeah, it's Arlo, the unicorn diecast master. The judges said 
that they are going to take the kids and weigh their votes three times. So Arlo has 18, and the others start off with a nine-point lead. Race fans, we had over 90 viewers post their votes, and it came down to the wire. It's hard not to pick a whole bunch of winners because all of the cars look so good. Please keep in mind, Best in Show is just one of many that were great in show. So, factoring all the votes in, the runner-up is the Crazy Canuck in those gorgeous Mini Coopers. And the winner of Best in Show for Clone Wars is EP Video with the Ford Fiestas. Congratulations! Let's give EP Video and Crazy Canuck a round of applause. EP Video will be receiving a trophy. Okay, and uh, Aaron, tell me, what was your favorite one? Oh, I really like Daddy G's uh, turquoise and white Honda Civics. Yeah, I have to agree. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the second group, and you just saw it. EP's on the inside. There's DRT3K. G4 Diecast is, is... They have the lead now. Drifting well, looking good, and behind them looks to be a little trouble with Numbskull, but once again, a very fast driver who has the fastest time is the lead driver of G4 Diecast. There comes EP Video. But G4 is looking good onto the Scrambler, and the car is looking great coming through. 24 second run. Here comes EP Video in second, crashing through. Daddy G, there's EP, and there, oh, seven drivers finish with DRT 3K taking up the rear. Let's take another recap here. Daddy G gets an early lead. It looks like Numbskull, one of the cars, has problems, but manages to keep it going. All eight drivers are looking good as they make their way around, but keep your eye on the front driver of DRT 3K Racing here in the Ford Escort Rally as he spins around, gets caught sideways, and is stuck on the runway. Here again, we see the train view catching a very, very fast and best in show driver. That would be EP Video, Lucas, and there we see the problems that DRT3K had. No one has been able to catch Daddy G as he lowers his fastest time. Now, DRT3K will collect two, EP with 11, Daddy G, as 14 with both drivers, and Numbskull managed to get both drivers across for eight more points. This is the final race. That's right, Aaron. The final race of episode seven is just about underway. The lights are yellow. We've got Numbskull on the inside. EP, DRT, 3K going and pulling out in the lead over the other drivers. Look at EP pull in though. Now DRT, 3K has the lead going into the Mesa Butte drift. Whoa, that's some messy drifting. The lead driver, or maybe that's, no, the lead driver has the lead coming around, but look at EP. Pull out ahead. Oh, the rear driver has some problems. EP, the lead driver in the lead, around the big U. Here comes DRT3K in second place. One and two. Is anybody else coming? And here comes, oh, here comes EP, the rear driver in third place. Numbskull will take fourth. It looked like quite a messy situation up there on the Mesa Butte Drift there, Richard. So we're looking at instant replay. Oh, ouch, three of the four drivers just didn't drift. One of them overdrifted. <laughs> And there was a traffic jam. That is G4 completely out of the race. Take a look at the other drivers. There's an another spin around, and Numbskull cannot get past. Now let's see. Oh my goodness, there was a, a collision and a bottleneck around the big U, and now Numbskull is one of the drivers is stuck there. So EP Video makes out with 25 more points. DRT3K with 9, G4 with 14, Numbskull with 13. Well, race fans, you heard it from Aaron. What a crazy final race. There's our scoreboard and let's spin it. All right, with the updated scores, Numbskull still has the lead with 124. Now it was EP Video that pulled up some and DRT3K did drop a little, but check this out. Only 30 points separates all eight teams. The fastest time by G4 got lowered as they're down to 24.082. Aaron. Are you tracking? 